All right, guys, taking on the Pelicans in the home game here. We are matched up with Zion Williamson. Be sure to slap that like button and subscribe. Thank you very much. Enjoy, guys. Stands out, no question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done, and I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. And it's Green, and it's Mitchell, and it's Miller in at the three spot. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Eight feet away. And change shot. And it's good on the way in. I'll, I'll tell you. Now, here's ball. Jump shot is good. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creator's mindset. He deals it with conviction. You know, there's no denying the talents of Lamelo Ball, Doris. Could this be what we see from guards in the future? Well, we know what he brings, Lamelo Kevin, and that's a blend of shooting is getting better. We have to see this young man develop. And it's Mitchell missing. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release. Well, no question, he altered that shot, and most of the time... ...after the win against the Nets in Brooklyn. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is... They come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And that one's good, Mitchell. I tell you, the vision is simply spelled. The ball for the Charlotte Hornets. Trailing by two, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. You're going to have to hit Oubre hard to prevent the bucket, boy. If you don't, he's going to play through it. Here we are looking at Kelly. Pass the ball. Six on the shot clock. Puts up a deep three. From beyond the arc, and then some. Ball's got ten points. This guy is putting his finger. Gurovich, he's covered by ball. Pass to Williamson. Over Mitchell. And it's sent back by Mitchell. On two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Here's Williamson. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And you have to. Weber's checked in. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Mitchell into the lane. Uses the glass to finish the lane. He has five. Here's Miller. And too long on the shot. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that. Oh, Already such a Okay, now it's the numbers for him. And right now, he's in one of those grooves where he has a tremendous feel for the game. Is it? Miller outside. There's the pass to Washington. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Washington has got seven points here in this quarter. Build your lead. Mitchell with it. Now defended by Williamson. And we've heard defensive-minded players break say, man, everything is a foul now. Man. You can't even touch the guy. He's not defend. Uh, do they have traffic cones? The first free throw is good. And Greg, while well, the commissioner might not like player trade requests, Kevin Durant said it's great for the league for players to have that leverage. Where do you stand? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, the main thing is trying to keep those requests in-house. Otherwise, it can be deflating for fans. Now, here's Mitchell. Guarded close. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. He's covered closely. Miller dishes to Mitchell. And 
and he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Tremendous finisher. Miller with a screen on Jones. He lobs it up, and Miller throws it down hard. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no... Mitchell finds ball. Mitchell in the corner. Going inside, and it's Mitchell with the jam. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those. Green, the screen. Miller kicks to Green. And it's the Hornets, another three. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. He walks to Mitchell. Bobbed up there for Green. And what an alley -oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And so here's Charlotte. They trail by nine points. Green with a screen on Jones. The drive by Mitchell. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor for 10. Just doing what he can. He's competing and he's converting. And he has really... Six on the shot clock. There's the three. Rebound by Mitchell. Mitchell's green, and it's ball in at the one. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. Pass to Garuba. Green with the block. And a turnover. Could not get off the shot. 24 second violation. A little trash. That's when everything clicked. Kevin? <laughs> David, not shy at all. Thank you. Ball with the bucket. This guy is always ready to shoot the three. Lamel Missing. Pelicans leading by eight. Daniels and foul on the shot. So oh my gosh. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Now have a play now. The pass to Green. Mitchell sets the screen for Green. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And folks, he did not. Inside. And Miller throws it down hard. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer since <laughs> to Mitchell. And he lobs it up to the rim, and it's Miller with the jam. On that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he's on D. 17 points was their biggest margin. To the paint. And it's Miller with the jam. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. This is a degree. Deft touch on the alley -oop. Pass to Garuba. Now Daniels. He's looking for Williamson and finds him. Williamson double team. Kicks it out to Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's just one of those just struggle to shoot the basketball. Here's Ubre. Here's the drive. It's good. The assist that time from ball. ball. Just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders, that's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. Yeah, even so, though, I'm sure they're not satisfied just being near the top of the standings. They're going to be looking to make a major push. Washington sets the pick for Mitchell. They need this. Another shot. And he sinks the layup. Mitchell's got now, here's Mitchell. He's guarded close. Miller sets a screen for Oubre. No good on the three. Pelicans leading by 13. Here's Hardy, and it's sent back by Mitchell. And here we go with Miller running up the court. 
And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Big guys on the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leading the defense to scramble. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. Charlotte making a switch here. Smith has checked in, and New Orleans also making a change. Fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. To the inside, Mitchell, and then Mitchell at the dunk. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today, because without him, this thing would already be over. Here's Sloan, covered by Miller. Schroeder outside, lets it go with a three. Daniels passes to Sloan. And a sent back by Mitchell. Oubre for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Oubre's got five points in the quarter. Puts one in the eye of the defense. Over to the wing. Here's Hardy. Misses the three. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. See Kelly Oubre on. Pelicans making a switch here. To the middle. Here's Hardy. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gurovich, guarded by Green. And a sink back by Mitchell. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Mitchell against Williamson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. We know this. That it won't unless the league makes an adjustment to bring a little bit more defense back into play. That is something you've heard Steve Kerr talk about. Have we tilted the scales too much to favor the offense? We'll see what happens. And Mitchell drops them both. Now, here's Hardy. Passes to Williamson. It's rebounded by Sharp. Free throw drops for Mitchell. We've seen players criticized for skipping their media obligations after tough losses, Greg. How egregious is that in, in your opinion? Well, you know, they say the true test of character is how you respond to when things aren't going your way. So for me, it's important to be accountable in those tough moments. And Free throw drops for Mitchell. No good. Green's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for New Orleans. It was a stanton. Boy, forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity... It's actually a 99, man. All out, for God's sakes. All right, I'll get you guys a peek at the attributes and the player rating. By the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect.